Hey everyone, welcome back to Sofa and Chill. I'm Kev. Going to be watching another episode, well, another two episodes moving forward from now on in the amazing Viking series. This is season four, episode four and five. So I know this will please uh, quite a few of you out there. A lot of you have asked me to up how many I'm watching. Now, you know how long I've been doing Vikings for now, um, since like last year. Uh, and, and I have had many of you's message say, is there any chance, any possibility that you're able to do more than one, more than one a week, can you do two? Um, can you do three? I know some of you want five, but you know, with the other stuff that I do have going on the channel, I find it very difficult to kind of find the time to do it. Um, but I have been promising for a while that I will watch more than one. Uh, now that we're into season four, just kind of started, and because it's no longer, it's not 10 episodes a season, there's 20. I thought, you know what, I can just watch two, upload two. Let us know how you think about that, because I know each individual one, I used to have a, a discussion beforehand and a discussion afterwards about the episodes. Um, so there mightn't be as in-depth now that there's two episodes to watch, because, you know, there'll be more to take in. But, uh, yeah. I know that we'll get through the series quicker. I know that a lot of you have, uh, have, have wanted me to kind of, I don't know whether it's to speed up. I don't know whether you're just, there's parts of the show that you're uh, desperate for us to get to. I don't know. Um, I'm just loving the show at the moment. So yeah, I'm excited as well because I want to see kind of what happens as well as we as we progress. There's actually been quite a lot going on. Uh, the big, big thing for me was that Floki was granted um, mercy from our rag. Uh, I did say when it was called Mercy, I was like, oh, I hope it's to do with the Flokster. Um, yeah, especially after everything he's been through. I know he killed Athelstan. It's still kind of like a sting there. Um, he did it because it, it, he's so fanatical regarding the gods. He believed that what he was doing was right. Um, I don't know if he believes that as much anymore now. I, he might not believe that because he thinks he's being punished. So that'll be, that'll be great to see kind of how that progresses. I really want to see how their relationship progresses as well. Will Floki and Ragnar ever become buddies again? Uh, putting it in the, like, the quickest of senses. <laughs> Are they ever going to be mates? Or will it always just be, you know, you did what you did because uh, uh, because of your jealousy towards Athelstan? And that's it. And we'll never be the same. We shall see. Uh, Bjorn has a berserker after him. That big bar steward. Um that you don't really want chasing you. So that's gonna to come to a head very, very soon. Obviously, Kalf and that little shit um, are trying to overthrow, still trying to overthrow the, um, or the, you know, the group, which is not, you know, they're trying to get rid of the Lothbrooks, which is just, it's the, that's gonna backfire sooner or later. I still think, you know what we think about Legatha. Is she still going to get her revenge on Kalf for th overthrowing her? Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Because he's they're, they're starting to now plot little things. Him and Erland are, are plotting like mad. And I think Erland is going to get his sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't wait. I just, I know I, I like to talk about it and say kind of how I'm feeling. And it, when I'm talking about it, you see, it, it, it jolts my memory off the last one. Makes it easier to fall into the next episode. Um, and the, I think with regards to uh, Rollo... I think he's going to learn the language, maybe. He's trying his hardest mind, but he's got no patience, has he? <laughs> he's got no patience. I would hate to be his uh, his French teacher. You just get your head smashed in. But uh, I think he's going to learn the language. He's going to respect them. And they probably, they might get on. I think they're going to get a little friend, more friendly. We'll see. And God knows what bloody Aethelwolf's still doing with with uh, Quinrith. Dirty dick. He's going to, uh, uh, that'll come to a head sooner or later. There's just so much to watch. This um, There's two episodes. One's called Yol. One's called Promised. Um, yeah, I've got no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what y'all means. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into it. If uh, if you yeah, like the channel, remember to hit the like button and subscribe, as it really does help out the channel. And I do put the full-length episodes to this show and other stuff on the Patreon. If you like watching full-length episodes to stuff, get yourself over there. Watch the full-length episode with me if you want. Why not? And if, uh, if you do, I'll leave a link. Okay, let's get into this. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Two episodes in one, guys. Never done this. I wonder if we're going to get any kind of time jumps. What's the next time jump we're going to get? I cannot stop thinking about death. Oh. My own death continues to elude me. 
he's not, is he? He's a dirty rag. <laughs> you must have a life worth living before you can even consider death. Oh, yes, girl. <laughs> what is your name? Edu. Edu. Don't be too. Oh, she's watching. Ah, she's gonna kill that Edu. She's a bitch. She's gonna kill Edu, isn't she? When my friend and ally comes to call during Advent, alas. Got the so much in Shagan Ganon on. What does it mean for Mercia? And how do we restore legitimacy mm. to such a fractured and wounded kingdom? I dare you. Well, you have to invade. And you will once more be queen. Of course. <laughs> you to thank. And your son Magnus will be heir to the throne. Oh, shit, yeah. The son of Ragnar Lothbrook. Oh. I once swore an oath that one day I would kill Ragnar Lothbrook. Oh, he's gonna kill the kid? In revenge for his unprovoked and merciless attack upon my kingdom. Dude. And would you kill his bastard son as well? That's exactly what I'm thinking about. Oh, that's gonna come to a head. I bet it's like a warm there. Is, is he gonna kill Magnus? Raggle, fuck, do you in? I still don't think it's Ragnar's though. And to King Ragnar and his family, may they feel the warmth of the fire like the love of the people. Ooh. Their relationship's done. Oh, he's gonna. Are oh, you gonna burn over it, son? <laughs> oh shit. Ivar is awake now. He's crying for you. Is the rag gonna give her a one? Let him join in with the other boys and be like the other boys. But he's not like the other boys. He's different. I love him just as much as you do. You don't act like it. I wonder if you get to see them all older. Well, unless I die. <laughs> we just never know, do you? What's the flux to up to? Oh, he's going to see the seer. My peace now. So you finally came. I waited a long time. Has he never been to see him? What do you mean, waited a long time? Hundreds of years. While I lay in the wet ground. What? Waiting in the space between life and death. You know exactly what I mean. Show me that you understand. Wow. Show me who you are. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. <laughs> what just happened there? I have come to serve upon you the papers of an almond, formally ending your marriage with the Princess Gista. Wow. Marriage has not been consummated. Oh. I have learned your language. Oh, he has? <gasps> yes! Princess Gisela, I beg you not to do this. He's learned the language? My destiny is to be with you. I am prepared to defend Paris to the death. Oh, she likes it. Leave us. Oh, yes, yeah, she likes that. All the way from Rome, surely. Surely you will find refreshments elsewhere in the palace. Yeah, be gone, mate, before I chop your head clean off. Leave us. Are we going to get some consummation going on? <laughs> You've confessed your love and devotion. Oh. Now we can speak to one another. And I don't pretend it hasn't touched me that you have learned our language. Oh. I ask you what is more important to you. Our marriage? Your appointment by the emperor? Or your viking soul? Did I not kill all my own warriors? Yeah, you did, dickhead. I not meant anything to you. You don't get much more personal. Do with it what you will. What? Rollo. Oh, Rollo stepped to the dark side. He has gone. Him and Gisler are just going to get it on. You're free to go with her. I won't be jealous. Oh. If that is what you want. Well, it's about time. At least they consummated. Now their marriage is proper and done. 
<clears throat> Tell me how you became a slave. I was sailing with members of my family. Where's she from? Slaughtered some of us and others they kept for sale. For days. And weeks. Why has he got her by the throat? And afterwards they sold me to the Franks. I am here wherever here is. Who are your brothers? Reunite. It is so long since I knew where I was. Or where I belonged. Might you have like a powerful family? Oh, whacking some tats out. I really want to see how that air, uh, the fight with the berserker goes. So the seer, like almost, that said that he was going to be one of the most famous, didn't he? Traveling the world and that, and he was like, oh, but what about Bjorn? Bjorn, and he was like, that's who I'm talking about. What? Don't you do anything nasty. He's going to give it to her as a home. Mine. Although no one else has ever been here. If you want, you can come and go as you please. What about my duties as a slave? They are no longer wanted. You are an awful slave. I'm dismissing your service. That I can come and go as I please. Only if you desire to. If you want, you can walk away right now. Wow. Yes, the rag. He's just sharpened his axe without a shave. It's going to be like an arrow come flying through. Watch yourself, Bjorn. Be careful, son. I don't want anything to happen to Bjorn. There it is. You knew it. He's, oh, they, he's very good. Oh, Bjorn, you might be a little bit outmatched to your kid, eh? Put your bear coat down and fucking scooch. Oh, no. What is... <laughs> Your axe is done. I'll be on. Sozo. I'll be on. at them bad boys oh mate this dog in your face you tie him to the tree <gasps> you're in so much trouble he's gonna you're gonna find out who did it I'm gonna say that was Erlander and Kalf and then slit his throat Dude, you are in so much trouble. Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? It's Ellenders? You won't kill him yet. Get Who the sent you? you need to know, you need don't kill him. He's gutting him like a fish. Oh, oh. <sighs> he ripped his stomach lining out and smelt it. <laughs> oh, that was so brilliant. I love it. He sliced them open like a fish. And went and pulled his guts out and went, smelt his breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's me favourite. Loki, I came to deliver my precious son into your hands. I want you to teach him the ways of our gods. Teach Ivar the true path. Teach him to hate the Christian God as you hate the Christian God. I will bring him to you every day. Teach him to be a Viking. What the fuck? Teach him the deep. It's just right up his street, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. I have something for you. Oh, don't hand it. 
It is an ancient Chinese medicine. Ooh. Got a bit of fingers off there. Oh, she's licking her lips. She loves it. What is it she give him? Like a... Give him one of those little blue pills. <laughs> it's gone patoing. Oh. <laughs> what? You just ate a snake. Oh my god, he's off his nut. completely off his bonds. She's given some like some herbal medicine. Fucking tripping off his nut. So the plot has thickened, ladies and gentlemen. Very much. Oh, it's beyond. Oh no! Y'all! Nagata. Kalf. Hello, Linda. Alright, son. Toby. We heard you took yourself away into the wilderness. Why? Just go like that with the ring. I want to find someone. Who? Myself. Myself. Yeah. Bring the son of Ragnar Lovebrook a drink. We must celebrate your arrival. He's got the ring on, hasn't he? Ah, oh, it would have been hellish if he had the ring on. I would not be so quick to celebrate. <gasps> I have come for two reasons. First, to see my mother. To take Tovi with me back to Kadegat. You're talking about my wife. Yes, son. She is your wife, and yet you treat her like a slave. Tovi is free to make up her own mind. What do you want to do? I want to go to Kadegat. She's off for Bjorn. I want to go with Bjorn. <laughs> right in the Erlander. You must leave the child. No. Catherine must stay with me, huh? No. And I refuse to release you from your vows. Oh, here we go. Bjorn. Bjorn. What you gonna do? Then go with my son. I'll watch a kid. Wow, that's a big decision. We have one life, Torvi. So go and live it. Right. Okay. There's got to... Right. There's more to... Fuck's he doing? Don't y'all bastard. To allies and friends. To allies and friends. Oh, she's going to see it. Someone's going to see it. There it is. I fucking knew it. And be more careful, son. He's seeing it all. He knows what's going on. He knows they're shagging. He knows they're shagging. He's not, and King Ale is not shagging anyone. You take me for a fool. That you have been allowed to paint the holy scriptures. But now I'm gross and indecent familiarity between you and your father-in-law. To think that you are my child. The very worst example of womanhood. You don't own me, father, nor does any man own me. I am free. Yes. Yes, Judith, lad. <laughs> Get the dickhead tilt. Oh. Where is my daughter? No one should be late for Epiphany. <laughs> oh, he's looking good. Would you join us? I'm not hungry. Can I speak to you alone for a moment? She Husband. She wants Raylan again. If you'll excuse me, Hans. <laughs> 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 oh I found this game now Let's play this game <laughs> That must be uncomfortable for him at least Iva So I wonder how they're developing the Iva character then 
because it, unless they're just putting it in the storyline that she's sticking with on Loki's side or that's a way to get him back in the story or whether they're building the Ivor up how's he gonna go on and it's a Viking though with the with the leg problems Is gonna happen here. No, not here, but there's something up between them two. It's not gonna last for much longer, I don't think. A stranger has come. A stranger? Where is he? He's here. Oh, who are you? Queen, I was like. My name is Harald, but uh, my people call me a King Fine here. King Fine here? A king? Then you're most welcome to our hearth and home. Come, warm yourself by the fire. No one travels in winter. Where are you from? Tumdrip. My kingdom is small. You will not have heard of it. Oh, I don't like a new person. Tell me King Harold. Why have you come here? King Harold. The wanderers sing praises of your husband. Of his journeys far and wide. His raids upon England. Now Paris. He's a famous man. I talk to him. True. But where, may I ask, might he be? Oh, careful, careful. You'll see him soon enough. <laughs> That's good. King Harold. Seems a bit dodgy to me, like. We're playing an avatar ball! Come on, on, let's ring! Let's ring! Oh, he seems to be quite fun. Where's the king? Careful, don't go and sit in his chair. Go and sit in Rag's chair. Oh my god, a rug's gonna come in, this this guy sitting in his seat. I'm oh. going to ask you once more. Why have you really come here? I made someone a promise. I wanted to marry her, but um, she turned me down. I'm worried, dear. Uh, I wasn't important enough. She had other offers. I don't like him, there's something dodgy. She shouldn't allow him to sit Why in the chair. I decided I had to be worthy of her by making myself king of all Norway. Then she would marry me for sure. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. This is always happening. And he is beyond. But in order to become king of all Norway, you would have to overthrow my husband. Oh, don't you just sit there looking all like that. Good game, boys. Good game. Oh, look who's back. Oh. Alive. And well. There we go. Who the fuck are you? Wow. This is going to be some battling going on. And you are? <laughs> oh wow, that was a so King Harold turned up there. Um <clears throat> I'm upset with uh with uh Arslag. You would not allow someone else to sit in your husband, not only your husband, the king's seat. No. I don't think so. But he looks like quite a formidable opponent, so we I guess we're gonna find out. Bjorn must have murdered our berserker. Yeah. It's a pity. Anything we need to know, we'll find out. What? Bjorn's weakness. You're gonna get killed, son. Rutovi. Of course, Rutovi. Otherwise, I'll kill her child. She knows I'll do it too. I'll kill her child. Cheers. <laughs> Lagatha must never know what we did. Erlander was telling me how he has forgiven Tovi for leaving him. At least don't lie, because that just sounds like Damn bullshit. Just surprises me sometimes. I, too, have a surprise. I am with child. That makes me so very happy. What? Me too. Marry me, Lagatha. Marry me, I've always known that we were fated to be together.
No, she's wanted to kill him still, doesn't she? She made an oath to herself. Say that you'll marry me. Unless she forgives him and marries him. Okay. Now she's with child is different, I suppose. I don't trust him either. Why do you not care for your daughter, Siki? I care for her. This just reminds me of things I'd rather forget. And what kind of man takes a mother away from her child? You tell me. Oh. You tried to take me away from my mother. Your mother left me. You left me. Oh, they've got a fractured relationship that needs to be sorted soon, I think. It is not easy being a father. This is even harder being a husband. Maybe I have failed at both. I have definitely failed at being a husband. <laughs> <laughs> How many boats and men do you have? 20 boats. About 600 men. And when will they arrive? They must already be on their way. Right. So you've only got like 600 men. My brother Halfden is bringing them. Halfden. And is your brother like you? No. Much worse. <laughs> what are we here for except to achieve fame? Just like your father. Isn't that what you want to? Hmm. I don't like it when they bring somebody new in that rocks the boat. Like, literally. He's definitely dodge pot him, like. I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. Well, I know I thought I couldn't throw him that far, but... Have you any more idea of the identity of the nobleman you knew as W? Let me help you, please, sire. The warring factions of my kingdom are always known by the first letter of their leader's name. You. W stands for Wigston. Wigston would find it unbearable to belong to any group. The only choice now Wipe them out. is for both of you noble kings and invade Mercia and rid my kingdom of all the factions who want to ruin me. I agree with the queen. Oh, we do, There's do you? no other choice now. They're giving it up that people can see. So it seems. Very well. We shall take your advice. Oh, there's that last getting whipped the fuck downstairs. Oh, no, it's a... Ethelwolf, whipping himself, being a bad boy. I don't want to. Oh, she's really got her own, like, mind now. No sleep with my father. You whore! Yes, yes. And why don't you go and sleep with your mistress, the queen? Hit yourself. Go on, hit me. Hit me if it pleases you, husband. But it makes no difference, either to you or me. You are husband to me in name only, as I am wife to you. Is he crying for man? Man up, bitch. You made your decision. You made your choice, and at the end of the day, she's been getting ploughed of Eckbert, and he's he's doing Cranworth. Kind of simple as that. What are you doing there, son? That doesn't look good. He called me your whore. Which I am and have freely chosen to be. Do you want me to leave? <laughs> no. So everybody knows now. My wife died in childbirth. Never to marry again. Oh, what? But I would like you to wear it. Whoa. If you will. Hell. Wowza. But Aetherwolf will see that and be like, right, there's me mother's ring. He needs a strong man to support him and to guide him. In Francia, we do certain things differently. So she's pr like proper loves him now. He must be, he's been giving us some good times. <laughs> you asked for a private audience. I am reluctant to discuss matters which relate directly to my superior. You mean Count Odo? Should I not trust his word? Because he is not always worth believing. Ambitious beyond ambition. You're gonna get killed for this. So that even an emperor's crown would not sit untidily upon his head. Emperor's crown. Can't say that, son, without any, like, you need some proof. Well, what are you saying? You need proof. Do, do you have any proof of this? I have the word of his mistress. A man will always divulge the truth first to his mistress. Very well. Let me talk to his mistress. For God's sake! 
How should I trust the evidence of this woman? Because this woman is my sister. Is it true? Yes, Your Highness. And Odo talk freely of his ambitions. The fuck? Has he been pumping his sister? Very freely. His ambition to replace me. Yes, exactly. Report to me anything which might signal his treachery. Oh my God, he's buckled under the pressure. He, he, he really relied on Odo, didn't he? He needs to make sure those guards keep keep dumb, because if they go getting drunk and blabbing. You don't recognize any barriers except as obstacles to be overcome. When my brother returns, everything will be decided here. So he's been kind of going up there and spending time with Edu. So she just, does she just live there now? Why are they not men? Their manhood was cut off. But they could not have sex with the Emperor's wives or slaves. I don't like that. <laughs> no, they didn't like it either. Invading the space. They want to hear me. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. They give me more of their medicine. I want to get off my nut again. Is he getting? A, he doesn't want to get addicted to that stuff. Seems to be a little bit addicted there. The way he kind of said, "Give us some more of that medicine." He's going over there off his nut. That's a good. That's a good sign for the rag. You're on our side. Come and sit with me. I have no reason to trust you. You have told me of your ambitions. I will never give you any cause to kill me. I may find cause where others may not. Who knows? Oh, good interaction. We are allies, and we shall go together to Paris. We shall destroy those Christian folk. They have seen nothing yet. Ooh. It seems a bit violent. Travel safely, my lord. You are the best of allies. Take heed of what I've told you. You too, fatty. I will always listen to you, father. Women are frail. Remember your duties. Say your prayers and banish what? the devil from your thoughts. There was a nod. Farewell. He's not going to do something to Ayla, is he? I need to know that I can trust you. And that is that you and I are somewhat alike. <laughs> what has he planned? What's Eckbert got planned? He's got something up his sleeve. That, that guy was walking out of, the, of his room before when Judith came. He's just given him a little nod there. Carnal. Venal. Is he going to kill Ayla? No. And unforgivable. I know that. I can't. Trying to think. To suffer in purgatory or the fires of hell for all eternity. Your kingdom, Lord, as you have said, is not of this world. But my kingdom is. I'll sting. Okay, so what's the significance with that? So this is Harold's men? With the brother who he said is worse than him. This is Gattegat. This is Gattegat. Introduce you to King Ragnar. This is my brother, Halfdan. Meet the notorious King Ragnar. It's a great honor. Not just for the sake of fighting, but for the beauty of it. He's off. He's not a little bit rag, isn't he? And against the Christians, yes. I hate the Christians. Oh, careful what you say. And you'll have the opportunity to kill a great number of them once we reach Paris. Oh, that was a weird interaction again. Another weird interaction. I know there's been quite a few these last couple episodes. But Ragnar looks off. He's not. No! Don't be wondering where you are. I doubt it. Why isn't he down there? He seems to be going off on his own, doesn't he? That's like, it's a weird one. What are you thinking about? The little chestnut. My father's the emperor. Knew it. Now I'm going to smash her in. Yeah! 
kill a bear with his bare hands. With his own hands. Oh, there's the flogster. Go on, Floki. It is Floki, the boat builder. For some reason, no one will tell me he's fallen out with King Ragnar. Sit down with us. Yes, Flog. Sit down. Make room. Oh, he's gonna make it. Is he gonna make like an alliance with King Harold? Fill the horns. Stop. This is my younger brother, Halfdan. Well, at least he's back in there. Why would he fall out with someone like you? Because I killed his pet Christian. Floki. <laughs> Skull. Two new friendships. Skull. Because I killed his pet Christian and then laughed. Floki. Killed his pet Christian and then laughed about it. My God. Careful where you stick a knee, you could hit her in the face. Oh, man. Yeah. Jumping bases. Oh, yes, he's proper jumping bases. Proper fiddler's elbow going on. Oh, wow, he's speeding up. Wow, is there. Well, that's our relationship kind of moved forward a little bit. Why are they doing this? I'm kind of a little bit like, what's the crack? They're all talking about going back to Paris. You've got King Harold and his brother there. It's just a little separate from the group. What? Don't do it, Rag. Why would you do it? Why would you do that? They've got a hair. Why like slit a throat? Very, very different relationship. Oh, he wants to go out and play, but he can't. I was going to say, is there a way that Floki can build him something? Because he's like a master boat builder, isn't he? So, is there a way that he can build him something? And his legs don't work, do they? Ah, oh, he's never going to be able to fit in like that. Go on. Go on, Ivor. Go on, Ivor. It's not your fault. Everything is all right. Oh, I think, I think it might have been your fault. I think it might have been Ivor's fault. That was a full on 187. She's not getting married, is she? I'm gonna say, whose does that ring belong to? What is that? Who say it's Erlander's? It's Erlander's ring. Yes, here we go. Where did you find this? I took it from someone. Why are you so interested? We have moments when I feel so close to you, especially when you're inside me, but then you don't want to talk, I and I wonder was... why you really came for me and took me away from my child. I thought she was going to say it to Erlander's. By the way... Here we go. That was Erlander's ring. He got it from his father, King Horik. That's it? Oh, they're getting married. Ah. Do you know when you've just got a feeling that there's something just not right? You look. There's just. I like you look so beautiful. There's just something just not right. Wherever I am, 
I don't ever want to fix. She's standing the way, like she's looking down the little whisper. There's just, I'm guessing, she's gonna do something. <laughs> Not on the wedding day. And the way they write the show, I know. Oh no, I've got a, I've got a feeling. How long's left? It's this is it. She's she's gonna kill him. Oh. No, she's done it. No, she didn't lag her there. Not on the wedding day. Oh, Lagatha, <laughs> you nasty bitch. Oh, she's done it on the wedding day. Oh, and he's just gonna bleed out and be like, he's just gonna bleed out and be like, all right. Oh, she's just gonna like walk out and be like, <laughs> Sozo. What? It's covered in blood. Is dead. Don't live early, son. Don't live early, son. Don't live I thought Erlander would get it well before Kalf. Don't, don't, don't be over, don't be finished. Oh no. Don't be finished. Don't. Oh, you'd still do it. She got a revenge. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so. Okay, I didn't think. I didn't, I, I do not like the when they do this, the way they write this show, okay. They write it in such a way that you can feel when something's gonna happen. Um, you get the feeling that there's just something off. Um, a bit like when um, you saw Ekbert, like, nod at that guy and he nodded. Just a little thing like that. I don't know what that still is. I think there might be something happening to King Ayla with that one. But, excuse me, just with that one there, um, everything just seemed to be going okay and then it just seemed the way the camera work moved and the, the sound and the way she whispered and I'd always wondered um, that's one thing that Lagatha has always been throughout this series she's extremely fiercely loyal to herself she says she's going to do something she does it um, and she's she, you know, she's got so much pride in herself you know, she even left Ragnar when he started ploughing um, you know um, our slag so it's kind of like uh, like I, I didn't know if she'd forgiven Kalf. She always says, I will kill you one of these days. They did get into that relationship with that in mind. They did mention it even before, you know, the, the, um, the locked horns, so to speak. Uh, the, um, she says, I will kill you, but if you're happy with that. And he was, you know, he, was, he had the horn and he was just like, okay, we'll play that game. But I did think when, obviously, they'd planned to get married, I was thinking, oh, well, maybe she's forgiven them. And that's the the weird look on her face is because she is kind of finally going, okay, I'm not going to be able to do what I said I was going to do, and then kind of, okay. But then near the end there, I was just thinking, oh my God, there's something just not right with this scene. Um, and then, yeah, uh, it happened very, very quickly. Uh, I did think, like I said there, I thought Erlander would die uh, before Kalf. Um, obviously now, I I'm so happy that, that Bjorn found out about, uh, about obviously about Erlander being a dick. Um, the way he killed the Berserker, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Uh, proper just stuck in, sliced all the way up. I mean, you would have just, you you would have got the answer from him, let's be honest. He asked him a few times and then stabbed him. You know, you'd cut his finger, you'd do something, you would do a few things, you'd get the answer. Um, either way, I love the fact that that's the way it happened. Um, getting to Ragnar, I don't know what is going on with our Rag. Um, is he a drug? Is he addicted to them drugs now? Uh, the way he acted with Edo, um, she's the king's, the, the the emperor's daughter. She's saying, yeah. Um, I've just got a strange feeling about this. Uh, like I don't know what it is. Um, it's as if all of a sudden now I don't know whether he's getting like, he, he's he's moving away from the group, uh, our ragster. Um, it just doesn't seem to be a part of it anymore. He's just got his little. He's, he's like his little life on the side. It's so much happening in Kattegat at the moment. King Harold's turned up with his brother. You know, they're talking about going back to Paris. Loads of boats have turned up. 600 men have turned up. Our slags there. Floki's back in the mix. You know, teaching Ivor, teaching Ivor, the little psychopath, about um, 
about the gods because she says like obviously she doesn't trust Ragnar to do it because of the whole Athelstan thing she wants him to be taught true the true ways of the Vikings and the Vikings gods and how much they hate um you know the Christian the Christian way um and he just seems to be pulling like away from everybody and it's like like everyone's having fun and even like he was looking over the building down at everybody as if it was signifying that he's just not a, not a part of the group anymore feels a little bit weird um that's why i didn't like when harold came in and he seems to be like not taking his place but he seems to be sat in his seat um be getting on with the kids you know playing games and ruffling the hair and i, I don't i don't know i don't there's just a weird i don't know there's just something in like niggling away at us um i'm sure i'll i'll you know as we go on i'll i'll find out but it's just i don't know whether it's just me whether whether it's just the show whether it was just the way i'm feeling but there's just a feeling of like un, like just an unsure as to kind of where where the where the, the writers are leading here uh yeah that's a funny one um Ivor is a little psychopath um i was i was just talking i was just like kind of saying that when it was on i wonder if floki because we're talking about being them and obviously him being a master board builder whether they could he could build something for his legs or like something so it could help him walk or something i don't know and that's what i thought they were like trying to show and then the kid tried to take that off him and he just went nah and just axed him straight in the head so i'm guessing either is a psychopath um yeah that's that's all i can kind of i can get on that one uh he's a nutter um yeah i, I mean the whole ayla quenrith that's like Ethel Wolf and Eckbert situation seems to have like that's all out in the open now done they all know about it um Eckbert came in and went on his knees and was talking about like self like you know you know I, I know I'm selfish not selfish but it was kind of like yeah, I know I'm, I'm a sin I'm a sinner and all this so I don't know what he's done what he's planning on doing um there's definitely something there Ayla's not happy I thought he was going to try and kill Magnus but he hasn't uh, there's just a lot up in the air at the moment. Um, like obviously watching two in a row is brilliant. It's a little bit more for me to remember and a little bit more for me to try and compact in. Um, but you know, I'm trying to do the best job I can. Let us know if you've enjoyed watching two in a row. Um, obviously I know it, it, it seems to be like almost like miniature movies cause it's on for like an hour and a half to watch two episodes, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let us know if you've enjoyed watching it this way. If not, I can always go back to watching it just one episode at a time either way. Uh, I obviously listen to you as my as uh, followers and watchers of the channel. But yeah, anything that you tell me, I'll take on board and, and have a think about it. Yeah. If this is your first time at the channel, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And also, I will put a playlist to the other ones that I've seen. I'll also put a subscribe button up there as well. And uh, yeah, if you've spent any time with me watching this today, I really, really appreciate it, as you always do. And uh, thank you very, very much. Love you all, and I'll see you all very, very soon.